Hello and welcome to the Whirly Bloke channel. I've done a few videos looking at all-in-one flight stacks recently. I've covered the Emax Magnum V2 that's great for 5 inch and bigger, the Mamba F405 for 3 and 4 inch quads, but what about whoop sizes? I've got a whoop project coming up that needs something and staring me in the face is this Success Micro F4 flight stack from iFlight. It's what's used in their excellent Cine B Cine Whoop. If you're looking for a 16 by 60 mm style flight stack, an obvious choice might be the Crazy B F3 or F4. They're used on so many ready to fly tiny whoops, and they work great when they're working, but for me, they're pretty fragile, and I've had a couple expire on me. I suspect the pressure of making a very small and cheap all-in-one board means they're engineered to within an inch of their life. The Success Micro F4 stack from iFlight seems like a smaller version of a traditional stack and looks to be mechanically more robust. I guess it will be a bit heavier though. Let's take a closer look. Now this is packaged differently from other stacks. It comes unassembled but you only have to bolt it together. You get the three boards, the VTX, the flight controller and the ESC combined PDB plus all the mounting hardware, standoffs, an XT60 battery wires and even a dipole antenna with the UML connector. A nice feature of this is the soft mount hardware is included so you can choose how soft you want it to be. There's a small TPU printed plate that you can put on the bottom of the stack to insulate it from the frame. Now this uses a 16 by 16 millimeter mounting center which is perfect for whoop size quads. The 4-in-1 ESC board runs BL Heli S and you can power this on 2 to 4 S LiPos although I don't know of any micro motors that would run on 4 S to be honest. It'll supply 12 amps continuous to the motors which is plenty enough for a tiny whoop. The core is a BB21F16G MCU which supports PWM one shot 125, multi shot, D shot 150, 300, 600 protocols, and so on. And this uses a reasonable weight PCB, which is nicely made so it doesn't feel like it's going to break anytime soon. Next up in the stack is the actual F4 flight controller. This is an STM32 F411 MCU coupled with the MPU 6000 accelerometer and gyro. You get a couple of UARTs, a Betaflight OSD and a 5 volt 2 amp back, but there's no black box memory. I guess there's just no room on this tiny little board. It's based around the Maytek F411 and that's the version of Betaflight that it currently supports using version 3.5.1. And you can use SBUS, DMX, or PPM receivers. And the last board is the VTX. This is power switchable between PIT 25, 100 and 200 milliwatts and it supports IRC tramp so you can change the VTX channels and the power settings using the Betaflight OSD. Let's bolt this all together. So there we go, it's all made up and with these silicon standoffs and soft mounting washers here there is just a small amount of movement which is just about right, just what you want, just enough to absorb any vibrations. And to give you some idea of how that compares we've got the Mamba 405 which is 20 by 20 and this is the Emax F4 Mini version 2. So let's see what it weighs. That is 
No, it's just, just over 10 grams, which is remarkable and is a perfect size for a Cine Whoop or Tiny Whoop size build. All in all, this is a great little package and it's just a baby version of their 20 by 20 mil stack with a few features removed because of space limitations. An awesome stack for a Whoop size quad at a very reasonable price. All you need now is an FPV camera and a receiver and you're pretty much good to go. And you'll see this appearing in an upcoming full build video. Thanks for watching and if you found that useful give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. And if it's your first visit then please subscribe to the channel for updates. I'll see you next time. Thank you.